Welcome to the 3 a.m. lowdown. Six pharmaceuticals in our drinking water here. They include ibuprofen, caffeine, monocin, and about three or four others. In Philadelphia, they had 56 pharmaceuticals or byproducts. They range everything from epilepsy medication to mental health medicines to uh, pharmaceuticals that really run the gamut. Here's the bottom line from the Associated Press on the study they did. It was, as you mentioned, a five-month investigation involving the AP investigative team. Fifty major cities in 50 states were looked at, and Drugs were found in the water of 24 major cities. We're talking 41 million Americans here who drink that water. So what's in the water? Everything from acetaminophen and ibuprofen to mood stabilizers, antibiotics, angina, heart, as well as cholesterol drugs, and even sex hormones. The trouble here, Meek, is that the federal government does not test specifically for pharmaceuticals in the water. And in fact, there is no way to scrub water that is in a treatment plant for pharmaceuticals. This is an electrofibrillation apparatus. You see the bubbling start straight away. This is breaking the electrical bonds between the, the substances in the water. It's going to reveal them and tell us more about the water. We've done a pH test and a PPM test on all, all waters. So we've got pH of the tap water as 7.4, the smart water 7.2, the even 7.4 and the distilled water 7.1. As we can see all the sediments in the water that are being revealed, this is what fills up our bodies, it gets in, all, all in our tissue, in between our joints, causes um, arthritis later on in life and all different, different problems and conditions. To hydrate ourselves, we want to be drinking water that can go into the cells. These waters, they can't hydrate us properly because the molecules are all, all clumped together. And hydration is one of the number one causes of conditions and, and diseases. Like, share, and subscribe, please. It helps out a lot. Thank you.